Since I am on hold with the frame, I thought I would start working on a different part of the truck. So we'll switch gears and work on something I'm really good at, which is taking things apart so I can forget how to put them back together. And today's victim is... the rear axle. <laughs> My goal is to get this completely disassembled so that I can clean and paint all the parts and get it ready to go back under the truck when it is time. And we're gonna start by getting this on the workbench and start disassembling the drum brakes and work our way to the inside of the axle. disgusting in here. There's a layer of rust and grease or something just all over the place. Clean finger. Dirty finger. I bet that means that the seals are busted. And any oil that was in the diff might have made it into the brakes area? I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna take this apart and we'll figure it out and we'll fix it. <laughs> I think it's time to move to the differential. I think the way to get the axles out is a C-clip on the inside since I see nothing on the outside. So we're going to drain the oil out of the diff. We're gonna take that apart. We're gonna pull the axles out and then we're gonna come back here and continue to disassemble the flange and all those parts. <laughs> So it looks like I was mistaken on that one. The inboard end of the drive shaft is not clipped in or anything. It's all held in by a couple bolts on the outboard side. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side, probably just remove the four bolts and take it all off once. Um, and then we'll get the differential out of the housing. I think that's enough progress for today. I'll be back tomorrow to work on it a little bit more. And we're back in the shop for a couple hours tonight. And my goal is to get the bearings and seals out of the ends of the axle so that I can get new ones on order so we can put them in when I put them back together. <laughs> It's 
it's been about 24 hours since that last bit of epic fail and a little bit of research and from what the internet says I need to make a fixture to be able to hold the hub of the wheel and press on the shaft. So I made this little guy. I had some angle iron from another project so I turned part of it into some box tubing and then have a flange on the bottom that bolts to all four bolts of the hub and then this sits in the cradle of the press and the shaft sticks out here and you press down and the internet says it should pop out. And with the axles pushed out of the bearings, I think this is a good point to end the video. If you're watching this video for any instructional purposes, a tip on pushing the axles out with the press. Before you put them in the press, before you put them in the fixture, it's a good idea to spray that bushing with penetrating oil and let it set overnight. And after that, hitting it with a dead blow and a cold chisel or some kind of blunt object on a couple sides helps break that bushing loose so it'll press out. The first time I put that in and tried to press it out with all of the force of the press, it wouldn't go. So I had to pull it apart, put the penetrating oil, hit it with a hammer, and then when I pressed it again, it, it was able to come back out. And I wanna give thanks to the Internet Encyclopedia for those tips. Thank you to all the guys who have done this before me and put their knowledge on the internet for future generations to use. And now I'm passing it on to the next couple people who wanna do this. With that said, I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to help support the channel, there's a paragraph in the description that you can read to learn about how to do that. I post progress pictures throughout the week on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me at Navel Rabble. I hope you go out and do something fun, do something enjoyable, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.